meditation and just think about all the people in your life you know God is in the restoration business when God restores he brings you not just like you were but better than before Isaiah says I will give you a two full recompense when trouble comes your way don't get discouraged you have to expect God to show up and he will take what the enemy meant for evil and bring good from it in 3 John it says beloved I pray that in all things thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers the prisoners in our hearts must be released we must forgive and release the power of God in our lives forgive and flood the enemy's camps with God's power because are any of us prepared if God suddenly calls us for an audit of our conduct of our unforgiveness you know, we're not created to carry bitterness and resentment. It's like carrying battery acid in a styrofoam cup. The acid of unforgiveness eats away every part of our lives and destroys us physically, spiritually, and mentally. Remember, we are capable of doing this. devil's principalities and powers are not looking down on us we are looking down on them in our spiritual composition in Christ they're below us the principalities of Satan by the power of the blood of the lamb and the name of Jesus the word of God and the power of forgiveness Let's sing the song I forgive you now with all our hearts I forgive you. forgive them 
I'm going to ask you people to visualize Jesus standing behind the person, maybe the person who has hurt you the most, or maybe there's more than one person. Crowned with thorns and been beaten, and he's standing there. And Lord, I know that you want us to be happy, and you want goodness and good things for us in our life. And you want our happiness more than I want it. I want the person or persons we need to forgive. I want that grace, Lord, to forgive them. You love that person, and I want that love to flow through me to that person. Visualize Jesus now in, in that person merging into one person the crucified Lord, the beaten one, merging into one with the person who's hurt you the most, the persons. Just feel now and see the light of the Holy Spirit surrounding you, a great warm light coming from heaven. And just sitting beside you now, he's saying, do not be afraid. Jesus upon you now and saying forgive with your heart look it's okay I'm here let my love flow in you and through to them my spirit is touching and healing you too he's saying forgive as I forgave you to forgive everyone in our life that has harmed us, to be free of resentment and bitterness and unforgiveness. I'm going to pray for a moment in tongues and just ask him because sometimes we don't know how to pray. Let's just pray quietly in tongues. Asking the Spirit to yeah, pray for the person persons who have harmed you in any way, who has cheated you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer him also the other. And from him who takes away your cloak, don't withhold your cloak. Give to everyone who asks you. And don't ask him who takes away from your goods to give them back again. As you would like people to do to you, do exactly so to them. Him who takes away your cloak, don't withhold your cloak. Give to everyone who asks you, and don't ask him who takes away from your goods to give them back again. As you would like people to do to you.